In this video, I'm going to share with you a simple formula which can really help to increase your concentration, creativity, and your overall productivity. And this, these strategies, these techniques are going to tie into what we've talked about in the two previous videos about dealing with technological and information overwhelm, as well as how technology, communication, emails, text messages, all of these things can sort of overwhelm us and burden us. So why I'm making this video is because in the midst of all of this barrage of information and data and stimulation that's coming our ways, how can we actually get something done? How can we actually be productive and creative and concentrate on one thing at a given time? So that's exactly what I'm going to share with you in this video. Something that I use whenever I want to get something done or I need to get something done. So it's something that I've sort of formulated for myself which seems to work quite well. So the first and the most important thing is to single task and block out a time for that single tasking. Meaning, let's say you have to write something or work on a certain project. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tell yourself, okay, uh, Tuesday at 2 p.m. to 3 p.m., I'm going to only do this, only going to work on this. I'm gonna turn off my cell phone, I'm gonna turn off Skype, I'm not gonna check Facebook, I'm not gonna check email. I can do that before, I can do that afterwards. Sure, no problem, but in this one given time, I'm gonna focus on this one thing. So first, single task, one thing, meaning don't type for a little bit and go, oh, one of us on Facebook, huh, no, one thing. I know it's hard to do these days, but one thing. Second, block out the time. In the third, and what really ties into that is you need to tell your mind what you're looking for. You need to spe specify what your outcome is, meaning I need to write this thing, or I need to produce this result, or I need to come up with this sort of idea, or reach this end goal, and tie that in with your time frame. So another thing that you can do in with the time frame is to take regular breaks, to just get up and stretch. Meaning, let's say you have four to six or eight hours and more of work to do. If you just sit down and say, okay, I'm gonna crush this. I'm gonna get all of this done. I'm gonna work here for four hours straight, six hours straight, whatever, I'm not gonna stop. It's really not gonna work. If you just say, yeah, I have all of this other work to do, but I'm gonna chunk it down and I'm gonna work for 45 minutes, 50 minutes to an hour, and then I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna take a break for maybe 10 minutes, you know, get a drink of water, go to the bathroom, walk around a little bit, um, definitely not check email, not check Facebook, not do any of that, but stay focused, but do something away from your actual work task, give yourself you know, a break. And usually when this happens, when you sort of step away, that's when sort of creative insight can hit because you're sort of taking your mind off what you're doing and allowing it to sort of relax and focus on something else. So it's a really important thing which can actually increase your creativity, concentration, and productivity. So remember, take a little break, you know, every 45 minutes or so to just get up, stretch out, walk around, maybe do some yoga, do some breathing, get a drink of water, whatever it is. So that's pretty much exactly the formula. And you can just use that and repeat. So basically, if you have a task, you want to focus on that one task for a certain period of time. Meanwhile, you're defining and pointing out exactly what you're wanting to accomplish and exactly what you're looking for. <clears throat> and then within that, within the block of time, you're accounting for allowing yourself to take a regular break to just get up and step away. And that's a really quick, easy, and simple formula that can allow you to get a lot more done and actually be more creative, be more productive, and have a lot more concentration and deal with all of the stress and overwhelm that's coming at us all the time. Because you pretty much have to make the choice to be in control of your time, to prioritize your time, and to realize that there's an infinite amount of things which are probably wanting your time at any given second, but it's up to you to decide what's most important and then delegate your time and your focus and your energy and your attention accordingly. Because those are all finite. Uh, attention span, finite. Mental energy is finite. Time in the day is finite. Time you can actually work in the day is finite. Time you can actually work productively and focus in the day is finite as well. So we need to be very choosy, very cautious, and very conscious on how we're going to spend that. So hopefully that little few step process has been helpful. I use it all the time when I need to get things done and it works. 
and it allows you to get a lot done in a really short amount of time. So if you have any questions or comments, post them below, and I'll talk to you soon.